Hello and welcome to Jap Academy, the Learning and Training Academy of ZAP Yard. We are ready for a new batch on ABAP RESTful Application Programming on cloud and on premise as for HANA. This ABAP programming is also popularly called RAP or RAP. This will be a very interesting and exciting instructor-led live paid online training for all ABAP developers. Please note, RAP does not stand for RESTful ABAP programming, but it stands for RESTful Application Programming. The A in RAP is for application and not ABAP. Just a good to know fact. Also, we have updated the content for this year in this RESTful Application Programming batch. With almost all Fortune 500 clients moving to S4 HANA, RESTful Application Programming would be needed by every ABAP developer who aspires to work on S4 HANA projects. So, if you are one of those ABAP developers who are still struggling to learn RESTful Application Programming, then this updated course from our experienced hands-on instructor would be your best starting point. Even if you do not know anything about S4 HANA, forget about cloud, and you are also not aware of CDS and EMDP, this course will be an ideal fit for you. And if you already know some topics on ABAP on cloud and want to master those managed, unmanaged, draft, git, etc., then this course will not disappoint you. We will invest some time in understanding the evolution of SAP from R1, R2 to ECC to S4 HANA. We will also talk about the fundamental difference between SAP ERP, SAP on HANA and S4 HANA. We will try to get unconventional concepts of in-memory and the popular column store. We are positive. Even if you knew it, you will still appreciate the way our trainer will explain the concepts in a new flavor. Do you know the difference between SAP S4 HANA and S4 HANA on cloud? Our trainer will give you the clarity between the two. Just like SAP HANA was confusing in the early 2010s, similarly SAP Cloud is another enigma in the early 2020s. The goal of this training is to connect all the different technologies that make up the new S4 HANA programming model and give our participants a coherent end-to-end -end guide of how to develop our own applications not only on cloud but also on-premise S4 HANA 1909 and above. Throughout the course, we will develop several fully functional SAP Fiori applications and our trainer will guide you step by step, removing the cobwebs and charting a clear path of action for the participants. CDS or Core Data Service is the key technology for exploiting SAP HANA's in-memory capabilities by enabling the code pushdown. We will have detailed hands-on exercises on CDS and the participants will understand the difference between SAP Dictionary View and CDS view along with different other rules and concepts. Associations are used to express relationships between different CDS view and resembles joins but they are no regular joins. Associations are easier to read because they don't directly program the joins. Ok, you might not have understood what I said. Just remember one term. Associations are joins on demand. Rest the trainer will clarify in details with real-time exercises and hands-on. On top of classic SAP ERP table, the VDM, that is the virtual data model, is the core architectural change with SAP S4 HANA compared to previous SAP ERP. VDM provides understandable, semantically rich and simplified access to business data in the form of consumable entities without consumers having to understand the complex table structures and foreign key relationship. And what enables VDM? You guessed it right. It is CDS. CDS in turn consists of data de definition language, data query language and data control language. We will see how we can use the access control in CDS in real project scenarios in this training. We will develop our first SAP Fury element list report app based on the ABAP RESTful application programming model. This will be on cloud. We will create CDS views, add business object structures to them, implement business object behavior and finally create the UI consisting of the list report. We will get first an understanding of managed and unmanaged scenarios. We will also dive deep into the UI annotations and the metadata extension files. Where there is a SAP Fury element, there has to be OData. Also, the service definition and binding is an integral concept of SAP Fiori elements. 
we will not only speak about the rosy pictures of ABAP on cloud, but also we will highlight the pain points. Transactional Fury app is the next step. We will also need to understand the behavior definition, behavior implementation, service definitions, service binding. With RESTful application programming, BOPF is not needed. We can develop Fury apps with crude. Crude means create, read, update and delete capabilities using ABAP RESTful application programming. Other important concepts like ETag, LockMaster, Auxiliary Class Reuse, Error Handling in Crude Operation, etc. will also be covered in details in this course. We will perform deep insert in Fury app easily using the RESTful application programming. We will learn it with sales order header and item examples. We will also learn how to enable and disable actions dynamically in Fury apps. Validations and determination will also be covered and we will deploy Fury app in SAP cloud platform. Yes, all this on cloud. You will surely love it. Next, we will dive deep into the overview page SAP Fury element application type. We will create analytical overview page for our business scenarios step by step from CDS view creation to business service definition and definition of the required UI annotations. List card, bar charts, table cards will be added and it will add more charm to our overview Fury page, which we will deploy on-premise. Queries are like reports. Above RESTful application programming model queries provide read-only access to CDS data models. We can say they are CDS data models without behavioral definition and implementation. Queries serves as the connecting link between the OData service request and the CDS data model. We will once again try to distinguish between the managed and unmanaged queries and when to use one over the other. We will learn about HANA data types, DDL, DML statements, joins, storage procedures in SAP HANA along with implementing a BAP managed database procedure that is AMDP. We will take another closer look on the queries in RESTful application programming. This time, we will focus on unmanaged query implementation. Since it is unmanaged, we have to handle everything ourselves. We will showcase how to retrieve data using filters and search options along with paging and associations. We will also guide you to optimizing performance of queries using AMDP. Before we wrap up the course, we will learn about our non-SAP project that is ABAP on Git. Yes, ABAP on Git is an open source project used as ABAP client for Git. Supported from ABAP 7.02 and above, like any other Git projects, ABAP Git allows version control of the code committed to the repository. We will introduce you to GitHub, teach you how to create Git repository and set up ABAP Git in your SAP system. We will show you how to commit ABAP code to Git. We will also install ABAP Git plugins in Eclipse and also transform ABAP code to the cloud. In short, we can use ABAP on Git to export and import SAP development objects between SAP systems. By now, you must have been convinced that this is an action-packed training. ZAPER team has worked for months to curate this course to the perfect extent to not make it too complex which no one can understand. And also, we did not want to make it too simple, which is of no project use. This is an excellent amalgam of on-cloud and on-premise course, which will make you ready for S4 HANA on-premise as, as well as S4 HANA on-cloud projects. The details of the training dates and time along with the enrollment fee is provided in the description section of this video. Please note, this is weekend only course and if you are in Europe, Africa or West Asia, you might not be able to join the live classes. This time suits better for participants from Indian subcontinent, East Asia, Australia, New Zealand, North and South America. There will be 10 classes in total and each class will be little more than 2.5 hours. For some reasons, if you are not able to join the live classes some days, do not worry. Recordings of the class will be uploaded at our training page and the participants will have lifetime access to those recordings. Participants will create account on cloud and do all hands-on on the cloud and also connect with the on-premise system. If you still have any queries questions, feel free to WhatsApp us at plus one two five one seven two seven nine two seven three or email us at mail at gmail.com 
or mail at jpr.com. Thank you very much. Stay safe and see you live on the training day.